Yo, guys. So if I would make a idea which fragrances would still be hot in the next year, these would be still hot. Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Eau de Parfum because it's a fantastic leather fragrance and there are not many great leather fragrances. Number nine, this is 27 in Macau by Len and this one is a great gourmand. I don't see a lot of fragrances competing with this one in the niche category. Aqua di Gio Profumo will be timeless, will be sexy also in 2023 because it is so timeless like patchouli and incense is added to the original DNA. Also Hermes H24, still a very new fragrance and I still think that it will be hot in the next year as well. It's a musky fragrance. Dior Sauvage Elixir, I assume this is the last of the Sauvages and there won't be a new Sauvage or a new Dior in the next year because this is still very hot. I think this will be relevant in 2023. As for summer fragrances from Dolce Gabbana, this will still be cool. Light blue intense, sexy fresh fragrance, smells so good when it's on a person. Such a great compliment getter. Here for the club, unless they do a fragrance that smells just like this in the new packaging, which they often do, the Jean-Paul Gaultier guys, this will still be hot. Creed Aventus will still be hot. Job Om, surprising fragrance for some, but I think this will also be very still or possibly rediscovered by some people that don't know it yet. Job Om, very good, cheap fragrance, about 20 years old. And unless Chanel releases a new fragrance, this will still be relevant. Bleu de Chanel, Eau de Parfum. See you guys, thank you.